hi guys welcome to vlogmas in july day one this is going to be actually so fun if you're confused i thought it'd be fun if i kind of brought vlogmas to the summer because you know there's that thing like christmas in july vlogmas in july so basically like vlogmas how you vlog every day from the beginning of december to christmas i'm just gonna vlog every day in july or at least try my best to so this is the start this is day one and we're starting off kind of fun kind of funky because i need to change my dex comment it expires in about an hour so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this one off and then i'm gonna go shower and then i'm gonna come back and put on my new one which i was gonna do a stomach site i've been like mentally preparing to do my first stomach site which I get a lot of comments, people are like, stomach site is what's FDA approved, like the other ones aren't. And like, we know, diabetics know that, but people put it all over their body and if it works, you can put it there. I'm not a doctor, but that's what I'm gonna do for myself. So I've done both of the back of my arms, I've done my leg and I've done my forearm. And so far, the back of my arms and my forearm are the most accurate my leg was fine until i went in the ocean and then it like it didn't work from then on and i had to change it early and i got a couple sensor errors so yeah i've also gotten a sensor error on my arm before so it's like you never know what you're gonna get but i was gonna do my stomach because i really want to try that but i'm gonna be traveling home to new hampshire and honestly i just want something that's like reliable that i know works i just haven't tried my stomach yet and i just don't want to deal with that so I am going to put it on the back of my arm again, I think. That's what I'm feeling. So let's take this off. I think I'm also going to make a TikTok about it. So like I said, I want to set up my phone and record this. Um, so we're going to do it both ways. We're doing a Dexcom site change. Okay, now you guys get the behind the scenes of me. Peeling the sticker off. I love skin grip because these don't hurt as bad to take off. Oh, that was easy. Easy. That's the little wire that's in my arm. It's kind of bent. <laughs> and honestly, when I first put this on, I thought it bled a lot more. Honestly, the tan line is not even that bad. So after I take it off, I just wipe it with an alcohol wipe to get like the gunk off and also just because like gross that thing has been like on my arm for like 10 days also i shave my arms so like the arm hair underneath <laughs> where my next comb was <laughs> feels nice to have that one off that site was so accurate i mean like so accurate and it was super comfy once it settled in but at first it did hurt um like when i first put it on it hurt and then for the first like 24 hours i was like i don't know if i'm gonna keep this on because it's like kind of really hurts but um i sort of i saw something about just sort of like wiggling your arm around and like moving it kind of like after you get a shot if you like move your arm around it like doesn't hurt as bad and then the next day it just like didn't hurt and then it was so comfy the rest of the time so i will definitely be doing it again but i'm gonna keep scrubbing this off and go hop in the shower and then i'll be back to put on a new one all right we're back i'm also like back in my pajamas because i have absolutely no idea what i'm doing today but i do know i need to film something for a branded video that i need to it needs to like be the morning for that video so i just put pjs on so this is my diabetes drawer also ignore my nails they're like almost off all the way <laughs> but yeah this is my drawer if you guys saw my TikTok organizing it, here's what she looks like now. So I need to grab one of these, obviously. I can throw this away. I keep this. This is like the one from my last Dexcom. I keep it literally just in case. I don't need it afterwards though. Um, but okay, I take out a Dexcom. <laughs> I switch out an extra and put it back, right back there. And then I need I need an alcohol wipe and I'm also gonna need a sticker, which I think, actually I know, I wanna do blue. Mm. I think I wanna do skin grip just because 
these are the best if I'm going to be in the water a lot. These ones just don't hold up as well, even though they're way cuter. And I really want to use the ones that Jojo gave me of me and Avery. But since I'm swimming a lot, those will just have to be for like the colder months. But they'll get their use because I'm going to have this for my life. But yeah, I'm going to use this blue one. You can't really tell it's blue, but like against the white, you can. It's like a pastel blue. And that is all I need. So let's do this thing. I have my phone set up again and the lighting on this camera is so much better than my phone. It's making me angry. Here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Easy. It didn't hurt a bit. Easiest part. And there we go. There she is. Oh, she's cute. We like her. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's done. The sticker was a struggle. Oh, Avery. Guess what? What? It's Vlogmas in July day one. Yay! <laughs> I really have no idea what me and Avery should do today because honestly the weather, I mean it's sunny right now but I can see storm clouds coming in and it was already pouring this morning. Update, it's like 15 minutes later and I've been sitting here because I don't know what to do with my day. <laughs> I know I want to go get coffee, but I can't decide if I want to go to Dunkin', to Starbucks, or to a local coffee shop. And also, I can't decide what I want to do today. Girl, I don't know. There's like landscaping being done outside my window, but I need to pick out what I want to wear today. Ignore the bed, <laughs> I still need to make it, but here's the outfit that I put together. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know. Like I just don't know how to dress cute in the summer in Florida because it's just so hot and like, but if you go inside, it's so cold because everywhere is like so intensely AC'd. So it's just like, you just don't know. Like do you want to be cold inside or do you want to be hot outside? You know, but here's the fit. Um, this shirt is from Brandy. Jeans are Princess Polly. Shoes are just black Converse. And for jewelry, I have on my diamond necklace. I always wear that one's from Orate. This one's from a local surf shop called Gypsy. Um, watch, Apple Watch. Everyone always asks where I get my Apple Watch band. I literally got it from the Apple store. So yeah. And then I also get questions about this medical alert, which um, is from Etsy. And then rings on this hand. I just got this one right here off Etsy recently. This one was a gift from my aunt. This one is from online, but I cannot remember where, but it's from online somewhere. Over here, the big gold one is another medical alert bracelet because I'm psycho. That one's from Etsy. Um, the middle gold one is David Yearman and then the Pure Vita one is, well, it's just Pure Vita. And then on this hand, I have a Cartier ring and a, I forget it's Orate or what the other little, little ring is. But just like a little gold band. I think it's from, hmm. I think it's from Maybe. And then this one right here is from Etsy. And then this one, I can't remember, but probably Etsy. That's the fit. And then I have a clip in my hair from Brandy. But I'm going to make the bed and figure out what the heck I'm doing <laughs> with my day. Bed is made also. I don't think I ever said it on YouTube at all, but Avery and I finally got a TV in our room, which I have always been the biggest, like, no, no TV in the room. Your bedroom is like your sanctuary, no TV. But <laughs> lately I've just been wanting like, just comfort in a lot of ways. And 
having a TV in my room just felt like a comforting thing to do. So we got a TV and we put it in here and watching TV in here at night is like magical. So I don't regret it. I'm very glad that um, we did this. I still need to get a wire cover for there. I don't know. This place is just like, I was so good at keeping it like clean and tidy and like staying on top of everything for most of the time that we've lived here. And pretty much ever since I got diagnosed, I just like don't have it in me to like also keep up with the house. And so like, we, I just, I never clean anymore and the chores all like our trash is always full our sink is always full the laundry is always overflowing like there's always stuff all over the floor because i just like can't do it <laughs> so which stresses me out even more because i don't function well in like untidy environments so it's been like very frustrating but it is what it is. At least my bed still gets made every morning. <laughs> but the sheets do need to be washed. I just ate lunch. I forgot to show you guys because I'm not in the habit of vlogging. But wasn't that exciting. It was pretty much, it was just like a wrap on like this almond flour tortilla with chicken sausage and hummus and cucumber and then cucumber and blueberries on the side. It was like super boring. But I have a raging headache because um, the girl needs a coffee. I need coffee. So basically, like my little strategy in the morning for working out right now, while I'm like still doing injections, is I take my long-acting insulin in the morning, and then with breakfast, I don't take any short-acting insulin, and. But because of that, well, the reason I don't is because if I did, the long acting and the short acting and exercising, like it'd be nearly impossible. And so I don't take short acting insulin. But because I'm doing that, as soon as I finish my food, I have to like hurry and get dressed and brush my teeth and start my workout or else like I'll still spike. And that's what I'm like trying to prevent. And so I don't get to like really have much coffee in the morning. Like I kind of probably have like maybe a fourth or a third of my Keurig coffee. And then I got to hop on the bike. And I've just been enjoying, basically I've just been trying to like do things that make me happy even though like they might not be like the smartest financial things just because like right now I feel like I just need to like worry about my mental health more than anything else. And so sure. getting coffee out just like makes me happy and always has. So Honestly, if you got coffee out for the rest of, the, of your life, it wouldn't even matter. I would be so happy. <laughs> Roll the clips of me and Avery fighting like every day when we first started dating because I used to get coffee out and she thought it was irresponsible. <laughs> okay, we didn't actually fight, but she was like so against it. But um, I was just on team make your own coffee because it's the same, but I realized that it's not really the same. It's a treat. Yeah, and it's more for just mental. Like, I can make coffee that tastes good at home, but it's just like the act of going and getting a coffee is like just makes me happy, you know. But for sure. anyways, I've been enjoying going and getting coffee. And Avery came out and showed me her outfit, and we're gonna be twinning today. Let's show them. I decided that we should twin. I think that's cute. Twinning! <laughs> this is really cute. We're so cute. Should we say we're twins today at the wall? Yeah. <laughs> we're fraternal. When we get our eyebrows done, the ladies always ask if we're sisters, and before, we said no and that we're dating, but yesterday we got our eyebrows done and Avery was like, yeah. We're sisters. We're sisters. We decided that we want to go to the Aventura Mall for no reason in particular. There's definitely not an Aritzia there. <laughs> Aritzia has this bright orange hoodie that I want so bad. So we're going to try to get that because, you know, hoodies in Florida in the summer, super logical. You guys, the traffic 
in South Florida is no joke. Are those all little bugs? I think they're like cocoons. Ew. We are like literally five minutes away from the mall and have been for like 15 minutes. Oh God. We both have to pee. This reminds me of that time in Hawaii. Oh. Or we were, we were near Banzai Pipeline. Oh. And we were on that same road. It was like literally a two two miles away, but it took us like two hours. Yeah, no, it took us so long. I don't want to say 30 minutes, but it took us like hours. A long time. Okay, can we make it through this light? Wait, this how, how long, how far are we away? It was like two miles. Yeah. Yeah, like five minute drive. It was something regular. gray. Because the waves were pumping. Oh god, I'm literally blocking an intersection. It doesn't matter. As we speak. It's okay. We're chilling. Okay, well that's my update. We're just stuck in traffic. About to pee our pants. About to pee our pants. Oh. <laughs> Excuse my hair. But we have such exciting news. We just got back from the mall. I'm getting so for Tylenol. Um, but... We got a package at our door, and it's her Omnipod. And so, she's probably gonna tell you this, but the thing about it is she she was um, gonna have to wait to schedule um, like um, a training thing at her endocrinologist after we get back from New Hampshire on the 11th. And so, um, the lady that's gonna do the training was like, well, if you get it today or tomorrow, um, today, or tonight or in the morning, then um, we can do training before you go. And she got it, so she's gonna open it now, but she's just got it in the bathroom. The migraine. She has a really bad headache. Imagine it's not even. <laughs> it is. Is it? I think so. Does it say? Yeah, it says something pharmacy, so. I don't know what else it could be. Oh my god, I want to be more excited, but my head freaking hurts. Oh. Guys, it's Omnipod 5. Oh my god. Oh, she's purdy. She's purdy. Dang. Ah! <laughs> Are you so excited? Yes. I got two phones. Wait, it legit has a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Omnipod with the hookup. Hey, Omnipod. Hello. Hello. Okay, this is teeny. People are dramatic. That is so teeny. Ah, uh, how okay, excited um, are you? Well, I'm not excited yet because I'm afraid I'm going to email her and she's going to say that I can't come in tomorrow. Just email her tonight. I'm going to. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, oh, you called her? A, a case. Oh my gosh, perfect. I'm gonna charge the PDM probably. Yeah. Okay. And th I'm sure there they can put insulin in it for you. You're right. But that's, that was just a prescription, so that should just be filled. Yeah, you should be able to pick that up when we go. Oh, my poor baby has had a headache all day. Hey guys, Avery here. We had a brief intermission. These tattoos are fake, by the way. Let me show you. So, let me go this way. This is my vlog now. Dog with the blog. Got this. This was on two times sale at Zara. Like, why was this on sale? You just said Zara like me. Zara? Zara. Zara. Look how cute. Like, the sleeves are so long. Mm -hmm. And like, so originally this was $45 and they marked it down to 29 and no one bought it. And then they marked it down to 22 and that's when I found it. Can you believe no one wanted this? I want to show them what I got. Okay. And then this hat Soap just got from the brand. Um, so this is the first pick, $22. I got a really, really cool leather bomber jacket from Zara. Um, but that's in the car. 
Firstly, I got this really cute jumper. It's like, you know, like a pantsuit. Oh pant my god, suit. you need to try it on. I will tomorrow, try maybe. It no, I'll just do it tomorrow. It's amazing. It is like one of my most favorite but things you've ever bought. Yeah, it's like slouchy, super cute from Free People. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Can I try um, it on? Not yeah. for the video. Yeah. Um, super cute. I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'll probably wear it tomorrow. I decided that, well, I got depressed at the mall because I was like, ugh, like, I don't want to wear this stupid backpack. Like, I want to feel like cute, even though I like that backpack, but. You liked it the first, the, like, the first time you were wearing it, but after wearing it for two months straight, like, yeah, you're going to get tired of it. Yeah. So, also, please don't talk about how I look. Um, I got a Lulu fanny pack, but this one's really big, and I'm telling you, it has just as much room as that backpack, so I could put insulin and low snacks and my meter and everything I need in here just fine and I can wear it around like this I can lower it and wear it like a you know like normal length bag and then I can also tighten it more and wear it like actually around my waist so that's gonna be fun to just like switch it up um, I just realized these pants are also on sale heck yeah and then I also got a really cute little set from Lulu. Um, I got these shorts and I sized up. Normally in Lulu, like pants and shorts, I'll wear like a four, but I got these in a six because they're like just looser and baggier and they're really cute. And then I actually can't even tell if this is the matching top for because I feel like the color is slightly off, but um, it's just like this cute long sleeve and it has like ribbed sleeves. It's just really cute and it was like really flattering and I thought it'd be cute with the fanny pack and yeah. That's everything that I got and I will try it on for you guys tomorrow but I am just, my head hurts. It actually is already starting to feel better. Oh, also guys, so we went out to a restaurant for dinner. I completely forgot I was vlogging so I just like didn't vlog it. But um, cute, I love them. Can I show them your jeans? Show them, show them while I tell them. So. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 you go ahead. Um, so we went to this Greek, right? Greek Mediterranean? Um, it was like Mediterranean. And yeah, we went to the Medita Mediterranean restaurant. And um, I got salmon and it came with like an Israel salad, which is like cucumbers, pretty much. Cucumbers and like tomato and hummus. And then I ordered cauliflower couscous. Um, and I asked the waitress, I was like, is the cauliflower couscous cauliflower or does it like have rice in it too? Cause I was like trying to figure out the carbs and she was like, no, there's like, there's a mix. It's a mix. And I'm like, okay. So it comes out and I was just like guesstimating on the carbs. And so I took like what I would take for about like 50 carbs because hummus like is sneaky. There's a lot more carbs in hummus than at least I thought. Me too. And I ended up, like I knew I was gonna be able to hold back from hummus and the cauliflower couscous, like I didn't know how much of it was cauliflower and how much of it was couscous. Like it was actually really hard to tell because it was kind of like a mash. And so I just took what I would, what I would take for 50 carbs. And um, yeah, so that happened. And then I wanted to get a like, just like a half calf cappuccino because caffeine helps my head and I was getting like a raging headache. So we went and got a half calf cappuccino and it was so good. And so I was like downing that thing and caffeine, I'm really weird and caffeine makes my blood sugar drop. Like not stay the same, not, ri not rise, drop. And so basically I just like, I was just dropping. Like I just, the food wasn't enough. Like, I, I took too much insulin for what I ate. I'm thinking that the cauliflower couscous was a lot lower carb than I, I thought. I was thinking that there wasn't couscous in it because I was, yeah. I took a couple bites and I was trying to find the couscous. I was like, if you told me this was just cauliflower, I'd be like, yeah, it's just Yeah, cauliflower. I'm not really sure. So I don't know if there actually wasn't, but regardless, it was really tasty and I ended up eating a lot of it. And I was actually scared that I didn't take enough insulin, but I very clearly, with the mix of the coffee and, um, not having enough carbs, I had too much insulin in me, and I didn't just want to eat my fast-acting sugar, which is like my little sun kiss or like juice 
or my glucose SOS, like I didn't want that. So there was this little bakery and they had like a bunch of mini pastries, like literally like this big. Yeah. And we picked out three and I was only gonna have one, but I ended up having one and a half or like one and three fourths. Yeah. And what did you have? Tell us. It was the first one was like a little, one? a little croissant with ricotta. Oh like yeah, the first one was it was like literally a mini croissant, and inside was like a lemon ricotta, and there was like powdered sugar on the outside. And so I was like, perfect. I think the sugar will work as like quick. It'll like bring me up, and then the croissant will like. It was so small, you guys. It was like literally smaller than this probably. And I was like, this is perfect. So I ate that and it was so good. And then the other thing I wanted to try, he said it was like an almond cake. It wasn't, cause I took a bite and it was like a yeah. mini apple pie. He literally knew nothing. It was so good though. And so I took, I took a bite of half and I was like, oh my God. And so Avery let me have like half of her half. And then my blood sugar went up to like, well, it doesn't matter, but it didn't even spike. Um, and now like I'm chilling and I might need to eat something else before bed, but it was just so good. <laughs> she had a very yummy day today. I did. And you had great blood sugars too. You know what's funny? My lunch today, which I made at home, which was literally like a low carb tortilla. Okay, here's, here's proof that diabetics can eat anything because listen to this. So for lunch, I ate at home. I made myself a low carb tortilla with um, chicken sausage and some hummus and cucumber and berries, blueberries, and everything was measured out to perfection. Everything was like the low carb option and just like very safe, like safe, you know? And I spiked and I even like, I took the right insulin and everything and I spiked. And then for dinner, I ate a whole meal at a restaurant and had too many pastries, didn't even spike. Like that's just proof to you guys if you like are one of those people that are like, can you even eat that? Are you allowed to eat that? Literally, yes. Like literally she's it, allowed to have pastries, cake, yes. ice cream. Carbs are carbs. Like of Red. course things like ice cream are tricky because there's like a high fat content, low protein, things like that. Like things do affect it, but like a carb is a carb. And, and she had pita for dinner. Oh, I also one, had pita, like a bite of pita. Of pita. But anyways, it just felt nice because I was feeling sad at the mall. I don't know. I just, I know that a lot of people are just curious, but it really bothers me too when I hear people talking about my Dexcom behind my back. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll walk by and they'll be like, oh, I the Dexcom diabetes. And, it, and I like, I know they're definitely not saying anything bad or like I would hope not, but it just is like, it's just, it's like if you had like a big zit on your face, right? and you walked by someone and they're like, cystic acne. Oh, cystic acne. Yeah. It's like, they might not even be making funny. Maybe they're like, oh, I used to have cystic acne. I feel Ooh. for them. Yes. But when you hear it, it's like, oh, people are noticing and people are looking at me. Right? Yeah. But yeah, it's just like, it just draws attention that you don't want. And it's just frustrating. And I'm also, I always feel silly if I'm like eating something that like, stereotypically people think diabetics can't eat with my Dexcom visible. I feel like people are like judging me, thinking I'm like think, not taking care of myself. No, I think half the people don't know what it is for and don't even know what yeah. diabetes one is. I think, cause I know I thought that type one diabetes was low blood sugar before. And so it's not, it's high blood sugar. But the reason I think I thought that and why I think people think that is because Low blood sugar is something that happens to type one diabetics. Type two, I'm sure as well, just not as much, but just because we're taking insulin so much, it can happen. Um. Oh, I need to show you guys something else I got. Okay, so let me tell you about um, all my stuff. So those two pants there, I got on sale, and then those were at Zara, and then I got these at North Face, so basically I could go fishing. And then while I'm fishing, it's like in the mornings, it's like pretty cool fishing. And then it gets really hot. So then, shorts. Okay, and then um, that little black shirt was free people. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Yeah. I didn't get that on sale. But that airy top, it was originally like $59. And so, my little sugar mama, 
um, used her 20%, 20% I had a 25% off for like my birthday that they sent me and I had a $10 off. Did you know that one expired literally tomorrow? Oh really? Yeah, perfect. American mm -hmm. Eagle and Aerie has the best rewards and because I used to work there and I used to buy there so much, I'm like, uh, like, I think I, I'm not sure exactly how it works nowadays, but at least it used to be like the more you shop there, like the higher like your rewards can be. Oh yeah. And so I think because I've shopped there so much, like I get pretty good rewards. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, guys, look, so for, you guys might be kind of confused, but you've probably seen me take my insulin injections, which is like a big pen with insulin in it. But with my Omnipod, I'm, I get like vials and the, each pod comes with like a little syringe that you like take the insulin up, put it into the pod and then the pod goes on your arm. That makes sense? But I got these really cute vial protectors. They're like tie dye, a bunch of different colors. And I'm so incredibly excited. Ooh, wait, you know what's kind of fun and funky? These are gonna be in my bag now. Cute! So that's super fun. Super cute. But yeah, that's that. I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I know I have a lot of footage because I have like two 15 minute clips in today's footage. So I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed Vlogmas in July, day one. It's gonna be super fun. And hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow will be me getting my Omnipod put on. We'll see. But love you guys so much. Make sure you guys follow me on all of my other social media. Make sure you're subscribed and seriously follow me on my other social media because word around a word around town is that TikTok's being super sus again. And if anything were to happen, I want you guys to all follow me on my other platforms so that we can keep things rolling and continue because I know TikTok is where I have the most followers. So. Make sure you're following me everywhere else. And with all that being said, I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Bye. Day 2. Bye! Bye.